Hi everyone, I thought I would do you a quickie, a quick video, just because, well, it's been a few things playing on my mind recently, and I've arrived at the CISI um, regional meeting in Northampton, um, oh, a tad early, so I thought I'd got a bit of time so I would share some uh, little things with you. So, I just, people have been, um, uh, have been asking me, obviously with the approach to the summer holiday, and, you know, lots of half terms, and obviously they know that I've got um, a busy family with a little Ruby and um, and obviously a business that obviously has a few people in it but seems to be a bit chaotic and a little bit nuts to say the least. So I just wanted to give you a, um, I suppose a bit of an insight into how I pull it all in. And I'm not telling you this because it makes me sound dead great because ultimately it's very busy and it's a m massive juggling act. However, there's a lot of women, advisors, people who are power planners, practice managers, um, who just would love to have some sort of balance in their life and at the moment have no way of, of achieving it. And we've we've done some quite, some quite, quite good work with um, people in, women in roles in financial services firms who have been able to propose a certain plan to the boss and have managed to get a much better work-life balance. Now if practice managers, power planners and support staff can do that then those that own their own businesses, uh, men and women, should have no reason not to unless it's through choice um, because it's definitely not because of necessity although you might think it. So when I was, when I found out I was pregnant with Ruby I had, I think there was three of us in the business, both Martin and I were in the business. Martin obviously is Ruby's dad and I set myself a little uh, challenge because one particular, I don't know, Friday afternoon I walked through um, Hitchin Town where I live and I walked past Starbucks and I remember seeing about, I don't know, 10 mummies with their babies sitting in Starbucks enjoying coffee and cake and at the time I was working six days a week and I remember thinking to myself there is absolutely no way that I'm ever going to be in a position to sit in Starbucks guilt free with a baby. Well I probably couldn't have been any more wrong so when Ruby was born I decided that um, I was only ever going to work three days a week. Now, I didn't have any maternity, really. I had about four weeks. And then the 2nd of October, um, which is obviously a month after she was born, I was at the IFP conference. Um, now, I wasn't really working. I was breaking myself in very gently. But at that moment, as I sat in that auditorium, um, listening to one of the speakers, I sat there thinking, I haven't actually got anything to do. Like, I'm here. Um, and what I realised I'd done is because I'd almost officially or unofficially handed my notice in to the team, I'd said, right, from the 2nd of September when Ruby was born, which is when she was born, um, you're not going to see me. Like, I'm not going to be around that often. The business has to look after itself. Now, that was a massive leap of faith, but I had the right people in the right job. So I felt that I was able to do that. And quite honestly, I wanted to spend time with Ruby. I didn't want to be chained to the business and I wanted a business to be bigger than me. So from that moment, I have only ever worked three days a week unless I'm traveling. Obviously, I arrange childcare and obviously Martin as her dad works alongside me and therefore has Ruby a few days a week. But I have, which is the, really the more important point, is that I've always only ever worked three days a week. And at the moment, I very, very rarely work in any of the school holidays. Now, it doesn't matter whether you want all of the six weeks holiday off, all of Easter half term you know, or you just want a couple of days. The point is that it's your business if you are the business owner and there's absolutely no reason why you can't achieve it. If I have, and I'm, you know, I'm a, the world's worst control freak in terms of wanting things done to the right standards, um, and it comes down to people. It comes down to having the right people in the right jobs, doing the right thing at the right time in the right way, and in the way that the business wants stuff done. Not the way you want stuff done or the way that they plan to do stuff, but the way that the business wants stuff done. So... You need to set your stall out. You need to be as stubborn as anything. You know, stop letting the team phone you, rely on you, send you messages when, you know, they can quite honestly think for themselves. And while ever you're always there, they'll never be free from you or never be able to function without you around. So I work three days a week. 
I don't work weekends. Um, the team have just shut the office on a Friday afternoon so that they get more time to catch up on stuff. I travel a lot um, and I'm military with my time. So every single thing I do has to ha add value. Like I, I can't waste time on doing stuff that's not my unique skill. I delegate a lot. The team delegate to each other when we understand what everyone's strengths are. Um, we've built a team on purpose, not by, oh, I've got a few things that need to be done. So, you know, can you do it? It's been built on purpose and whilst I'm striving very hard to not to have a lifestyle business and it's a massive work in progress all the time what we have done is I often when I get emails from D or Kelsey I'll push it back and say you decide you make the choice I trust you you know one's gonna die you know once the world's not gonna explode just because they make a decision and therefore they feel empowered and part of something that's way bigger than their role it takes the pressure off me it allows me to focus solely on the stuff that only I need to be doing and um, and I can do that in the time that I get given and that I allocate to myself for work because the rest of my time, I'm a mum, I spend time with my partner Mark, um, you know, we're off on holiday next week and the business functions beautifully without me. Like, and that's been absolutely done on purpose. There's nothing accident about it. But when people say to me, you know, I only want to work three days a week or I want to have a Friday off or whatever, we make it happen and we can make it happen because I've made it happen for me. Now, it's different and it's a different video on a different day for those who are in power planning business manager and so on roles because these are roles that are much more reliant on a day-to-day and um, but if any of you are interested on how you might be able to present that case to the business owner or the advisor then please please speak to us because we're, we're doing this a lot and there's no need for you to be you know stuck in the remits and the confines of that role working those hours um, there's often a, an other alternative another solution which ultimately has one end game and that's getting the job done um, whilst absolutely giving you some balance so my life is nuts I'm all over the place um, I'm a fab mom I spend tons of time with Ruby we have amazing quality time together lots of girl time um, but it's it's designed that way like it's not um, I have total control over my own time and most importantly I have a Helen now Helen is my executive assistant full-time and her sole job is to look after me so any of you guys out there that are booking your own tickets putting your own itineraries together like literally I've got an itinerary from Helen today I've put it in my sat nav and I've turned up when she's told me to I haven't done any of the arranging like I, I genuinely haven't I've just turned up you know the Frank Sinatra scenario where Frank Sinatra never moved a piano so I've just turned up and I will do my thing and I will go home and the team will take care of the rest so it, the point is it's absolutely possible and absolutely doable so stick with it um, if you want to chat and figure out how to do that I'm happy to do a bit of a webinar live broadcast or whatever so we can troubleshoot this but ultimately if you let me know what you want um, help with then we'll shoot some stuff out so good luck it will work and uh, fingers crossed bye